and welcome to the Fort Lauderdale Fire and Safety Museum. I'm Jim Van Drunen, the curator and secretary. We feel our fire museum is a very special place, and that is thanks in no small part to the Fire Museum Network. But more about that in a minute. Historic Fire Station 3, built in 1927, was designed to blend into this residential neighborhood. It was built in the extended Cuban farmhouse style with Med Spanish Mediterranean details. On the exterior, those details include the Spanish tile roof, eyebrow windows, turnstone columns, a rotunda, and ornamentation. This is not a fountain. It is a watering trough installed for the horses and mules that were pulling wagon loads of produce to the sailing ships at the nearby freight docks. On the interior, the details include crown moldings, Cuban tile floor, wood beam ceiling, fireplace, and a deluxe 1920s kitchen and restroom. This room was designed to be the officer's bedroom and office, but the fireman had a better idea. Since it has an outside door, this room was the neighborhood poker room for decades. The games ended when gambling in firehouses was outlawed due to wives' complaints of firemen coming home with no pay. It was then turned into a boarding house room. Several beds served firemen who were not welcome at home for a day or a week for any reason. The only rule of the house was that when there was a fire, everybody had to be on the engine. It took four years to rebuild Historic Fire Station 3, and then we were ready to plan our exhibits. I planned on the typical displays of artifacts, uniforms, badges, helmets, nozzles, etc. However, I found out that there was a Fire Museum Network. I attended the 2008 conference in Aurora, Illinois. Within 20 minutes of walking in the door, I learned that all my ideas were dead wrong. The experts taught me that good museums don't look like antique stores, they look like a classroom, and they tell stories. So, our fire museum contains no artifact collections. It starts with the story of a city commission, so cheap that they did not buy one fire pump, one foot of hose, and not one extinguisher. The inevitable happened, the city burned down, and a week later, a bond issue was passed to create a fire department and a water system. We tell the story, and photos and artifacts are just the props to help tell the story. Another room tells the stories of the deadliest fire for Fort Lauderdale firefighters, the first female and African-American firefighters and fire chiefs, and daring rescues. Our rotunda honors the Fort Lauderdale firefighters who have been lost in the line of duty. This firefighter is named Herbie, and he's saving a little hope. We use this exhibit to teach children, do not be afraid of me and do not hide from me. If you see me, come to me and I will help you. We wanted to include a working game well fire alarm system, but we wanted it to tell a story. Here's how that process started. We changed the number of the box to a location that is a very important story to tell. Box number 123 is at Southwest 8th Avenue and West Las Olas Boulevard. That's where this fire occurred. Box number 123 was located at this address. A lady put her two daughters to bed and went out for the evening. Unfortunately, she did not have working batteries in her smoke detectors. A fire started. The firefighters were called and were able to penetrate the fire and smoke and rescue the girls. They were alive when rescued, 
but tragically they both died the next day in the hospital of smoke inhalation. That leads us to the most important exhibit in the building, smoke detectors with good batteries. This is your smoke alarm with a fresh battery protecting your family's lives. This is your smoke alarm with a fresh battery after saving your lives and the house was saved and so were you. Unfortunately, this is your smoke alarm with a dead battery in your house after a fire. And here's what children's toys look like after a fire. We find this is a very effective way to use a game well fire alarm system to teach smoke detector safety. Thanks for visiting the Fort Lauderdale Fire and Safety Museum. And thank you very much to the Fire Museum Network for helping us make this the facility that it is.